Yo, VD Cars, thank you for the 200. You want men to be traditional and pay for things, but none of you act like traditional women. If I shared a photo <laughs> of the national flags of Tonga, <laughs> Albania, China, Morocco, Singapore, Tunisia, Switzerland, and Isle of Man, there would still oh be fewer God. red flags in that image than on <laughs> this podcast. One, actually. I'm so, so traditional, <laughs> but you just can't see that. What like, you don't know. Woman? How do you know that we're not traditional? Fuck tradition. Like, who cares about tradition? I am, I am not tradition. Tradition. didn't want to be just I saying I I back to uh, like, not paying bills for the women. But that's I not called tradition. That's, that that's, really that's is tradition. called tradition. Yeah. Nobody said I, I want my no, man to pay not. my bills. That's, oh, tradition. yeah, that's different. Like, you don't want men to. Being I'm providers. just polyamorous. Men being providers is them being traditional. Mm -hmm. Adhering to their traditional gender roles. What's traditional mean? And like traditional yeah. woman, it's who? Who staying at home and raise the kids? But I, I, can't, I can't raise a kid by myself. Well, with, I mean, like, and sure, don't work. But you can be traditional in I don't your like behavior. Don't get, I'm so old fashioned. I'm, I'm monogamous. I'm so old fashioned old in so many word. different ways because I was born and raised in Russia. It's like my mentality is like, it's so traditional and old fashioned. But again, how, we, how you can know? Like you mm. can't just because the way I talk, it's it. You can't see that. I also think it's. I think I also think it's like way harder to be like quote unquote traditional in this day and age. Like exactly. just with yeah. with how expensive just living is now, mm -hmm. um, it is nearly impossible to be like a dude, like just a regular dude working a regular job and be able to provide you for go. you and your spouse and a kid mm -hmm. and yeah. like get a house like that's insane it's in, it's actually impossible yeah like it, it yeah. doesn't operate with a regular the job way. yeah and so yeah. like in america so like you know Everyone's people people creative. are just kind of reaching mm -hmm. for for like fewer and fewer fruits because like you're not talking about just finding a guy that has a job anymore you're talking about like like a very small pool of men that have managed exactly. to like beat the odds and and have a career that is sustainable you know um sure. but that's that's why that's why the this like idea of tradition at least in america is like mm -hmm. impossible it's like it doesn't exist i don't think yeah. it's impossible but you do make a good point that there are certain economic realities where it makes it harder for the man to be the sole breadwinner in a family and but everything everything is a trickle down from that isn't as it as a traditional woman should cook it clean it's just a question should what? Should cook and clean? Yeah. I mean, when I'm thinking of traditional, it's it's more about just your demeanor, like how you act. Yeah. Okay. How I you mean, act in the life? Cooking and cleaning, living. like that's cool. So your girl can have an OnlyFans? Is that a way of acting? I would or say is that no. <laughs> so I, I what mean, if, why wouldn't if you want to date someone with an OnlyFans? What if she's like super traditional, but it's her like really hobby and because. Like I, my, my friend, she's like super traditional, typical Russian woman, has a, two kids, she's married, but she has like her own things about like, not OnlyFans, but like s sexual stuff, which she, and, and for her, it's like a hobby. So it's like, but she's still traditional. That's fine, know. but I think a lot of men will look at women who are really invested in their career and think, for example, the guy who wants family and kids, he's gonna look at a girl who's really invested in her career and think, well, maybe she's not going to be particularly involved or wanting to be involved in the household when it comes to raising the kids because and hey if she wants to pursue a career that's great but i think men might look at that and be like well maybe i'd want to pursue someone who might be more willing to work part-time <laughs> or even not work at all and let me be the breadwinner and they take care of the inner household while the man takes care of the outer household i totally agree with that like even myself because i run several different companies and i feel men are often intimidated by that mm -hmm. and like it's a turnoff because they want and like i even looked at the yeah. guys that i would date and they're all with somebody just like that that would take that part-time job or was just working like a babysitting job they were a teacher mm -hmm. and they can just finagle their way out of there but any girl that's running their own shit i think it is often very intimidating Don't for men this. not all men but a lot of men i, I can I go ahead I'm so, i can stop uh, I, I i don't say Look stop my Karen's career comment. but i'm like i can pause my projects if i'm really getting into the marriage and the kids so it's like i still have my passion about dancing like massage all that stuff but if i'm like getting into serious relationship and there I I think like I need like put more attention in there and into the family and relationship I can like oh, okay my project can wait 
And I'm like, no. yeah, this. See, the, I know I couldn't do that. Not at this point in my life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, not at all. I'm, yeah, I'm totally yeah. Uh, okay with that. So it was like, just again, like my family is my priority. Like my daughter is my priority. Mm-hmm. When I have a husband, husband, and my family is my priority. I can, I can pause the business. I can pause everything. In in my relationship right now, I would say it's generally pretty traditional, where I make pr- all the money, and my girlfriend who's here in the studio is her main goal is to just have a family as as soon as possible um and she has some career goals but she's said you know from the start like as soon as i'm ready to have a kid she's ready uh it's a full-time job does Mm -hmm. your family have money does her family have money where her family taking care of her i'm taking care of her before that uh she was yeah 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 i mean she had a she had a job she had a internship but um well, women who yeah. are independent on their own, they have no, they ha- don't have an opportunity or you're just going to be on the street. So some people have that hustle and they're working, mm-hmm, working, yeah. working, mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. all they can do. So it's like, okay, now I'm successful and now a guy comes around mm-hmm. and I have all this and then suddenly they don't want you because you're too busy. You're not hand and foot at them. That's, it's an issue. You wanted to go? Yes. I just wanted to say something to what you um, <clears throat> just mentioned. My boyfriend himself as well, he knows I work and, you know, I'm successful. He's successful, but he also says... I don't have to work if I, you know, don't want to or because he could provide and he would provide because that's how he was raised and that's what he would want to do for the woman that he loves. So I love that you're doing that. 